This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to share this news that we have reached the 1,000 subscribers mark. So I just want to say thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moving on, today's video is a part of the series that I'm doing where I create eye makeup looks inspired by gradient yarns. Today, the inspiration is this rainbow yarn cake by Dreamers Yarn. Of course, obviously, it's inspired by rainbow as well. So I chose this yarn because it's June, so it's Pride Month. I'm not part of the community, but we all have loved ones who are members of the LGBTQA plus community. I have three close friends who are members of the rainbow community. They were actually in my wedding entourage, so we're really this close. So happy Pride Month to all of you. And moving on to our yarn here. So of course, we all know the uh, rainbow colors. So I have here the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And I use this Morphe X James Charles eyeshadow palette because it has all the colors of the rainbow. See? Okay, so without further ado, let's start. I already moisturized my face with this uh, Glow and Tone Face and Body Mist from uh, Fresh Skin Lab. There, and this one, Lux Organic Soothing Gel, Aloe Vera and Snail. They are both Korean brands. And now, my new favorite primer and foundation pair. For the primer, it's the uh, Professional Pore Primer from Benefit. And for my foundation, this is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This shade is uh, Medium to Santa Fe. So just dots, dots, dots all over my face. And then I will just spread it with my fingers. And for the foundation, I'm using this uh, Real Techniques sponge. Okay, and don't worry if it appears to be a bit lighter for my skin tone because it will warm up in a bit. Time for the concealer. I will be using this Maybelline instant age rewind in uh, light so here under my eyes and a few spots here and there that need extra help from the concealer and for my eyebrows i will be using this uh, define and blend brow pencil from maybelline okay i'm now doing the outline and then time to fill it in and now it's time to brush it with this pulley that comes with the pencil for me the easiest to use for my brows is a pencil i don't know i tried the powder and the gel type but uh, it did not work for me for my eyeshadow base, I'm using this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in Natural Rose. I'm actually a bit scared because this is my first time to be using this many colors on my eyes. We all know the colors of the rainbow, so here we go. I will be using this red right here. This is called You're Kidding. And for orange, I will be using this. It's called Rusted. And for yellow, this one, it's called B. And for green, this is called Social Blade. Blue is called Playground. And the indigo one is Cola. For our violet, this is called Scape. Let's see what will happen. Anyway, you probably already know because I filmed my intro when the makeup is done. So you have seen it already. How did it go? Okay, don't tell me. It's going to be a surprise. Let's start with red. Let's see. 
I'm using this uh, Morphe X Jeffree Star JS10 brush. I am so nervous. <laughs> this could easily go wrong. Okay, I'm just going to use the other side of this brush for the orange. Okay. And now yellow. I'm using this uh, Morphe JS13 brush. Yellow is not really popping. Let's build it up some more. Okay, I'm using the same brush for green. I'm running out of space on my lid. Let's just wing it. <laughs> up next is blue, of course. And now that we have our blue, I don't know what to do next. I ran out of lid space. <laughs> I regret not having a plan. Okay, I will just use the same brush for indigo. This is a Morphe M321. Okay, I will just put it right here on top of blue. So that's our indigo. Because we have a space there. <laughs> These two eyes are surely not going to be symmetrical, but I'm doing my best. This is fun. <laughs> and now it's time for violet. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. Mama. Hello. Which red did you choose, Mama? This one. And which blue did you choose? How about indigo? This one, indigo. Mommy, well, you're so happy that I'm back. Yes, I am happy <laughs> that you're back. There are obviously harsh lines everywhere, but let's see if we can blend them out. Mom, can I put on some makeup? Right now? Yes. But I'm doing my makeup. I can't do it. You can't do it by yourself. Mom, trust me. I'm a great makeup artist. I know you are, but you're still oh. a baby. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can blend out the harsh lines. But if they look like stripes, I think that's okay too. You know, just rainbow stripes. I think I will go ahead and put some colors on my bottom lash line. Red and then orange. And yellow. And green. I just want to put a little shimmer right here. And I will use this uh, shade. It's called Ring Light. I think that's enough. And I will use that same shade to highlight my brow bone. I guess I'm done. I will just clean up the surrounding area and I will put on some eyeliner and false eyelashes and I will be back. The eyes are done. Let's move on to our contour, blush, and highlight. And I will use this Sephora Vivid Earth Orange Ground Palette. And I will use this shade Land for my contour and dusk for my blush and warm for my highlight i love this palette all in one let's start with our contour so right here i'm using this sculpting brush from real techniques my jawline as well on the sides and on the forehead for the blush, I want to use the same brush, so I'm cleaning it right now. So here on the cheek, up to the hairline. And I will be using this fan brush from Real Techniques for my highlight. So right here on top of my cheekbone. And now I'm going to contour my nose using this angled foundation brush from Eco Tools. So there, I'm just gonna connect it to my eyebrows and downwards. 
and I'm going to blend this out using this uh, shadow brush from Real Techniques then highlight for the nose here on the bridge and on my cupid's bow it's time for the lips i will line it first and for the lipstick i will be using this uh, velvet teddy from mac so of course we're going for nude because our eyes are very colorful and I want to add a little gloss, so I will be using this uh, matte lip glass. The shade is called Nymphette. Okay, just right here in the middle. And now a little bit of setting powder. I will be using this L'Oreal Hydra Perfecte Translucent Perfecting Loose Powder. Okay, just uh, all over. I'm using this uh, blush brush from uh, Real Techniques. And finally, setting spray. I will be using this uh, Sephora Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. Okay, I guess that's it. I'll see what I can do with my messy hair. Then I will be back. And this is our final look. Yay! And once again, this is inspired by this gradient yarn, which is also inspired by the rainbow. I hope you like this rainbow eye makeup. I had fun doing it. I really love colorful eye makeup looks. Well, obviously. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. See you soon. Bye! Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you love it. Share if you care. Thank you for watching. Bye!